hi all uh, in my today's video cast i will so i will talk about uh, asynchronous request processing in servlet 3 i will show you in demo how to uh, achieve this in servlet 3 so to get started uh, asynchronous request processing is a new concept in servlet 3.0 um till uh, servlet 3.0 you can't uh, achieve asynchronous request processing normally all the requests being served by servlets are synchronous request service uh, are in synchronous mode synchronous mode now um, as of uh, servlet 3.0 uh, the new concept has been added and through which we can achieve asynchronous uh, way of request processing uh, so to do that uh, it's pretty simple uh, in your annotation of your servlet which is web servlet there is an attribute called uh, async support by default it will, it, will, it will be false so you just make it to true asynchronous support equal to true and so that uh, your container knows that this servlet this particular servlet is capable of processing asynchronous requests now how do you process it so the, the next thing is how do we process uh, our request through asynchronous way now to do that uh, we have something called async contest Uh, this is an interface which is introduced in servlet 3.0 uh, this interface will have uh, uh, our uh, uh, request object response object and so many other things uh, which will be used uh, while processing our uh, request through asynchronous way uh, so it's pretty simple uh, so to start it uh, to get started uh, the the current request object like So the, the current request object of servlet 3.2 has a method called uh, start async. So it will give us the async context, and it takes in parameter of request and response. So the current request response takes the parameter, and it gives us a async async context object. Uh, now there are few more things you have to uh, do it actually. Uh, now you have to write a class which uh, uh, implements runnable interface like uh, some. Threading concept, we have to add it. Uh, we use it. So uh, you, uh, because the asynchronous request will be processed by separate thread. So for that reason, we have to do do this. Now I'll just walk you through my uh, one of my class, uh, which implements runnable interface, and I have overridden the run method of my runnable interface. Uh, here I have created two private objects. Uh, um, I have the reference of two private objects. One is async context. to that i can manage my uh, asynchronous request processing and one is my print writer through which i will uh, write some of uh, jsp output so this is a <coughs> default constructor with uh, uh, the async context as a parameter and what i do, uh, what i do is uh, uh, from a thread pool i'll just uh, <coughs> in invoke uh, uh, my async processor class this is a simple class which uh, implements the runnable so um through my uh, thread executor class <coughs> i will just create an object and i will just invoke my uh, i will just pass my asynchronous sorry async context object to my uh, class and thereafter i'll do my operation so if you come here in my run method what i am doing i i got the printer out object from the async context async context uh has a method called uh, get response which returns me the servlet response and it has a get writer which returns me the print writer object now if you see here um uh, for this for this demo purpose i have used thread field so but in real time we should not use this uh, kind of code so this uh, uh, scenarios can be applicable when you have uh, um a method processing which will take quite a long time to execute Uh, such as fetching user information while login after login or uh, saving user information during a session all these things if the operation takes quite a long time then we can start the async request of a servlet and uh, and in in my async request request processing uh, part i will just update those things so, so what i am doing in a for loop just i am printing one by one uh, my task so here i say processing title number i Uh, the next time I am pressing my print writer, and the most important thing is uh, this particular block, async context dot complete. That means your request processing is complete, so your servlet container will know that 
the, the survey has finished the processing of his request. So I'll just uh, watch it through again. First thing, I, I have created a thing, async servlet, uh, a servlet, new async servlet. And the important thing is in my uh, web servlet annotation, I have a, a user and uh, attribute called async support and I have made it a true. That means my servlet is capable of processing async requests. Now, after that, in my do get method, wherever we want, uh, uh, for this demo, I have used do get. If you want your, uh, your servlet uh, to handle the async requests in do push method, uh, here you can write it also. There is no restriction. Uh, now again, I have to, um, the request dot start async method is there which takes in parameter of request and response, which gives us a async context. Now async context interface, uh, like through which we can um, start or we can handle our async request processing. Uh, now this is again a, a thread class, which has a run method here. Inside that, I have got my async context object and with this async context object, I am doing some manipulation and and I'm just uh, executing my operation. So, so to demonstrate it, uh, I have already deployed the application in Tomcat uh, 7, so which is a Java E6 compliant server. Uh, so if you see, first time I have print uh, processing request. So this is the normal output uh, uh, print line from my uh, current request. Then after inside that I have uh, enabled the asynchronous request processing, and inside that async processor class, again I am printing few things. So to to see it, let's uh, hit my hit my circulate again. So this is it. So this is what is being uh, first came. Then you can see one by one it comes. Like your uh, processing of your sublet is not uh, not yet finished. Uh, now again I'll just refresh. You can see the uh, status bar below. So you can see waiting for until unless your request is not uh, request processing not completed, it says waiting for this sublet. Now once uh, your processing is completed, it's gone. So this particular thing comes when we uh, when the when our code comes to this part, async context are complete. That means our uh, uh, tablet has finished um, the processing of a async request. So this is a simplest example of uh, 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 asynchronous request processing in tablet three. Thank you.